So the first thing that we're going to do today, we are going to welcome in, uh, with a great round of applause, our award winners. So welcoming in our award winners. Okay, almost there. Last few winners in. Okay, good morning everybody. Good morning boys and girls. Good morning to our parents, distinguished guests, and of course our teachers. Uh, we gather here today to celebrate our award ceremony 2024. We are very proud of the entire school, every person in this room, and in particular this year, to our award winners who have put themselves in that spot of going the extra mile, trying their best, being determined, um, and always giving it their all. So your efforts are going to be celebrated today. Uh, for any pupil who has won an award this year, congratulations, and to anyone else in the entire student cohort, Hopefully you will be sat in those seats next year. So without further ado, we're going to get going with the awards. So we'll begin, we'll invite uh, Miss Byrne up and we're going to begin with the English Awards. So our winners for first year English are Maureen Finnegan, Eveen McInerney, Saoirse Byrne, Connor Fitzgerald and Izzy Meehan. Congratulations. Come on up. So those were the English Award winners, but not only the English Award, we also have our high performers in English. And the high attainers this year for English were Abby Larkin, Mia Hughes, Carla Miles, and Elena Kerwin. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations to our English award winners.
And as the photograph gets taken, we'll get ready for our next award. Our next award will be presented by Mr. Fehan, and it is the Irish Award. So here are the winners to be presented by Mr. Fehan. The Irish Award winners are Daniel Bothwell, Leah White, Gronya Rice, Dara Flynn, and Ben Maroney. Well done. And the high attainers in Irish, congratulations to Searsha Murphy, Ava Murphy, Tara White, and Sarah Wall. So well done to all of our Irish winners. Thank you very much. And as the Irish winners get their awards uh, photograph taken, we'll invite Miss Lamb up to the stage to present the Maths Awards. So these are for all our mathematicians. So first year, Maureen Finnegan. Second year, Alex Dunn. T.Y. Beth Kelly, fifth year Alicia McGarity, and leaving certificate Katie O'Rourke. Well done. And our high performers in maths, first year Courtney Hanlon, second year Mary McCormick, fifth year Molly Murphy, and leaving certificate Darren O'Shaughnessy. So congratulations to our Mavs winner and thank you to Miss Lamb. <laughs> Absolutely. So as we are getting our photograph for the Mavs Awards, we're going to invite Mr. McCann up on the, the, the stage to present the History Awards. So our winners for History. First year, Kate Malone. Second year, Orla Lynch. T.Y. Emily Liu. Fifth year, Alicia McGarity. And Lisa Neven Certificate History Award is Katie O'Rourke. <laughs> the high performers in history. First year, Christopher Caron. Second year, Roshan Brady. Fifth year, Annie Malone. And the high performer for the Leaving Certificate History is Ruan Joyce. <laughs> Congratulations to our historians. So well done to all of our history buffs. Well done. That's it. Brilliant. And as we're getting our photograph for the history awards done, we are going to get ready for the science awards. So who are our scientists who won awards this year? So the winners of the science award, uh, first year is Daniel Bothwell, second year Aoife MacDonald, High performer in first year is James Keevney, and high performer in second year is Laura Duplessis. So these were our junior cycle winners. Congratulations, well done. So science is a, a little bit different to a lot of the other subjects. We've got Within the science department, we've got biology, ag science, uh, physics, and chemistry. So for biology awards for the Leaving Cert, TY winner is Beth Kelly. Fifth year winner is Emily Lennon. Fifth year high performer in biology was Grace Mills. Uh, Leaving Certificate Biology Award is Neve Holland. High performer in Leaving Certificate uh, is Shay Donnelly. Congratulations to our biologists. <laughs> 
Well done. It's all part of it, getting mortified. <laughs> Lots of awards for Miss Kerr to give out. Next up we have our... We'll, no problem. Okay, we'll go for this photograph first. Our biologists and our junior cert winners. Congratulations. Okay, next up we have our chemistry awards. So the chemists, TY winner, Sheehan Connolly Morgan, Fifth year chemistry winner is Dara Flynn. Fifth year high performer was Sean Thornton. And the Leaving Certificate Chemistry Award, Rory Watson. And the Leaving Certificate High Performer was Rima O'Sullivan. Congratulations. Good man. Congratulations to our chemists. They're going on to do wonderful things in the world of science. And next up, we're going to get ready for our physics awards. So the physics winner uh, for TY is Beth Kelly. For fifth year, it was Alicia McGarity. Fifth year high performer is Eva Ashby. And the Leaving Certificate Physics Award is Owen Hughes. Well done. Congratulations to all our science winners so far. So next up we have agricultural science. We're very lucky to have pupils who come from a background uh, with great knowledge in agricultural science in this community. Uh, so very competitive. Our TY winner for the Ag Science Awards was Neve Lochran. Fifth year winner is Dara Flynn. Fifth year high performer is Saive Morgan. Leaving Certificate Ag Science Award is James McGowan and Leaving Certificate High Performer in Ag Science is Jenna Rice. <laughs> Congratulations. Well done, lads. And thank you to Miss Kerr. So as we're getting our final Ag Science Awards, Photograph taken, we're going to get ready for Geography Awards. So who were our geographers? And we're going to invite Miss Cosgrove to the stage uh, to present the Geography Awards. So our first year geographer is Daniel Bothwell. Second year winner is Alex Dunn. And Leaving Certificate Award is Elizabeth Gillen. Congratulations. And the winners of the High Performer in Geography, uh, first year is Ronan Goss, second year is Patrick Oliver, and the Leaving Certificate High Performer goes to Rebecca Bothwell. <laughs> Congratulations, lads. There we go. Well done, lads. Congratulations to our geographers. So next up we have our modern foreign language winners and we're gonna invite Miss Devitt onto the stage for this presentation. So we'll begin with the French awards. So the winners of the French awards, first year is Catherine Guerin, second year is Ella Woods, TY is Stella Deary, fifth year is Annie Malone and Leaving Certificate French award goes to Ben Maroney. Congratulations. Well done to the French winners. And the high performer French winners. First year goes to Connor Duffy. Second year, Jack McAvoy. 
fifth year Erin Arthur's Leaving Certificate High Performer is Elizabeth Gillen. Congratulations. Okay, so next up, we have our Spanish Awards. So the winners of the Spanish Awards, first year, Oscar Daly, second year, Donica McCartan, TY winner, Ashley White, fifth year, Sarah Mallon, and leaving certificate, Izzy Meehan. Congratulations. Well done to all our winners. I'm not trying that. Oh, sorry. High performers. Oh. Um, high performers. We missed out. Sorry. The first year is Mesa Woods. Second year, Cormac Murphy. Fifth year, Emer Trainer. And high performer, Aaron Rice. Well done. Congratulations. Brilliant. <laughs> well done. So next up we have our Home Economics Awards, uh, which will be presented by Ms. McCarraher. We welcome to the stage. So first year Home Economics Award, uh, Tiernan Shannon. Second year, Neve Ferrin. TY winner is Kieran Shields. Fifth year, Lily Shields, and Leaving Certificate Home Economics Award goes to Megan Doris. Congratulations. <laughs> and the high performers in Home Economics, first year is Lucy Brennan, second year is Sarah Behan, fifth year is Rosie Watson, and the high performer is Chloe McCarraher. Well done to all our home ec winners. So next up, we're going to be having our art award winners. So we'll welcome Miss Crowley up to the stage. So our art winners: first year, Kate Connor; second year, Joanne Mort Mortimer Finnegan; uh, TY winner is Neve Lochran; fifth year, uh, Maya Davidson; and leaving certificate award is Lisa Conlon. Congratulations. <laughs> Our high performers in art, uh, first year is Catherine Gearin, second year Emer Mordevman Finnegan, and fifth year Maeve McClancy, high performer is Eva Brady. Congratulations to our artists. So congratulations to all of our award winners so far. We have a few more awards to go. But in the interim, what we'd like to do is invite a few of our students on stage. Last week, we had the, the pleasure and the difficult task of choosing two of our pupils to represent our school as head boy and head girl. A difficult task because we have so many pupils who demonstrate the leadership, maturity, and empathy that is needed to fill this role. But we are incredibly lucky 
to have appointed two such pupils this year. So we'd like to welcome on stage the head boy and head girl for 2024-25, Erin Arthurs and Sean Thornton. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 2024 Bush Post Primary Award Ceremony. For those who do not know me, my name is Erin Arthurs, and I am honored to be the head girl this year. My role this year is to support and act as a voice for the student body. Today, we are here to celebrate the hard work and achievements of our incredible students, and to appreciate the diligence and support of our teachers. Good morning, my name is Sean Thornton and alongside Aaron, I will act as your head boy this year. As part of our first duties, we have the honour to present two very important members of staff who are retiring in the next few weeks. Our Deputy Principal, Mrs Sinead MacDonald, who is retiring from Bush after 23 years. Her contribution to teaching, school management and student welfare has been exemplary. She has worked tirelessly to promote Bush Post Primary in every corner of the county, and we are indebted to her. She began teaching music in Bush, but her destiny did not end there. She became deputy in 2006, and her impact in this role has been powerful. Mrs. McDonnell has been a champion of students and staff. She has demonstrated hard work and diligence at every opportunity. She'll be greatly missed. <laughs> Miss Olivia Cosgrove is also retiring from Bush Post Primary after 33 years. She began teaching Irish and geography in the classroom and has ended her career as a homeschool liaison officer. Her affinity to the Bush students and Peninsula has been a trademark of her dedication and love for the school. Her presence will surely be missed as her impact and passion have left a lasting legacy on both students and staff. As a small token of our appreciation from the student body, both past and present, we would like to present both these ladies with an olive tree. The olive tree is a symbol of friendship, victory, and above all, a sign of peace. When you look at these trees, we hope you remember the wonderful friendships you have made, including students, staff, and parents over your time in Bush. On behalf of every student, past and present, we wish you both a long and happy retirement. Gunyiri on Boher Live. And I'd now like to ask both of you to come up onto the stage for a picture. The impact of a good teacher lasts forever. Uh, we are very grateful to have had the opportunity and the outstanding professionals, uh, Miss Cosgrove uh, and Miss MacDonald, as our colleagues and as our teacher. Um, you will be sorely missed. Okay, so we will continue on with the awards. Um, we'd like to invite Miss Lynch up onto the stage for the Music Awards. So, the winners of the Music Awards, first year, Maureen Finnegan, Second year, Molly Kelly. TY winner, Evelyn Clark. Fifth year, Rowan Mulligan. And the Leaving Certificate Music Award goes to Shauna Rice. Congratulations to our musicians.
At the high performers in music, first year is Kiva Grant, second year Nola Shannon, fifth year Jessica Cleary, and the Leaving Certificate High Performer in Music is Liam Marmion. Congratulations. So well done to our musicians. Our next award is the Business Award, uh, which is going to be presented by Miss Campbell. So we'll welcome Miss Campbell up onto the stage. Thank you to our musicians. So, our Business Award winners. First year, Daniel Bothwell. Second year, Avine McInerney. T.Y. Searsha Byrne. Fifth year, Dara White. And the Leaving Certificate winner is Ben Moroni. Congratulations to all of our business winners. And the high performers in business. First year winner is Noah McParlin. Second year, Ashley Morgan. Fifth year, Tara White. And the Leaving Certificate High Performer in Business goes to Eamon Woods. Congratulations to all of our business students. And next up, we will have our Accountancy Awards, uh, which will be presented by Miss uh, McCartney. No, no, sorry, Ms. sorry, Miss Campbell. Uh, the Accountancy Award winners, uh, TY winner is Emily Liu, fifth year winner is Dara White, Fifth year high performer is Neve O'Rourke. Leaving Certificate Accountancy Award is Neve Holland. And Leaving Certificate High Performer in Accountancy is Victor Zigley. Well done to all of our accountancy students. So our LCVP winners uh, in Accountancy and Business um, are fifth year Cara Dunn and fifth year um, High Performer in LCVP uh, was Kiva Hughes. Unfortunately, neither can be here today, but a big round of applause and congratulations to both of you. Okay, so next up we have our technology awards. A little bit like science, there's a few different uh, variations within this subject of awards that would be won. So the Wood Technology Awards we'll start off with. So the winners of the Wood Technology Award and Construction Award first year is Aaron Keane, second year is Cleona Flynn, fifth year is Kieran Levins, and the Leaving Certificate Construction Award is Tom Elvin. Congratulations. <laughs> And the winners of the High Performer Award in Wood Technology and Construction, uh, first year is Peter McArdle, second year is Dahan uh, McCann, fifth year is Albert Johnson, and the Leaving Certificate High Performer is Gavin Morgan. Well done. Well done. So congratulations to all our technology winners so far. And next up we have the Graphics and the DCG Awards. Congratulations. So the Graphics and DCG Awards. The first year Graphics Awards goes to Yasmin O'Farrell. Second year Eddie Boyle. TY winner is Fiona McDonnell. Uh, fifth year DCG award is Sean Thornton and the Leaving Certificate DCG award is Rory Watson.
The winners of High Performer in Graphics and DCG. First year is Ryan Hughes. Uh, second year is Keith Gaskin. Uh, fifth year is Mia Davidson. And the High Performer in Leaving Certificate DCG is Niall Gregory. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of our graphics and DCG winners. And next up we have our engineering awards. So, our engineering awards, first year is Aaron Keane, second year is Mark Brady, TY winner is JP McKeown, fifth year is Emily Lennon, and the Leaving Certificate Engineering Award goes to Rory Watson. The High Performers in Engineering, first year is Oscar Daly, second year is Evie McInerney, fifth year is Neve Donnelly, and the Leaving Certificate High Performer in Engineering goes to Anton Marchant. Congratulations. <laughs> so lots of awards in technology. Big well done to that whole cohort who won awards there. And next up we will have our Computer Science Awards, a new subject to the school. Uh, this was our first cohort to be brought through, so our, a new award, uh, and we we'll welcome Mr. Dining onto the stage to present the Computer Science Awards. So the Computer Science Award, the TY winner is Callum Wallace, fifth year winner is Finn Cosgrove, Fifth year high performer is Cahill Gallagher, and the Leaving Cert winner is Rory Watson. Congratulations. Well done to all our computer scientists. So as we wait for the next award, we've got the PE Awards coming up next. Uh, so we'd like to invite Mr. Malone onto the stage to present the PE Awards. So the winners of the PE Awards. The TY winner is Mark Byrne. The fifth year winner is Alicia McGarity. Fifth year high performer is Saib Morgan. The Leaving Certificate PE Award is Izzy Mahan, and the Leaving Certificate High Performer is Lisa Conlon. Congratulations. And we had outstanding results, as in all subjects in PE, so a very competitive group of awards to win, so congratulations. So after our PE awards, we're going to be presenting some of our best young citizens at an award. So these are pupils who go the extra mile, who think about their community, think about our school community, and, and try their best to add something to, to the way we live every day in school and make our lives better and our pupils' lives better. So, Best Young Citizens are going to be presented by Miss Boyle. Uh, so these are the current second year pupils who are the, the best young citizens of second year. So it's quite a competition. So Owen Kilkenny, Harry McVeigh, Aoife Waters, Ronan Goss, Catherine Gearin, Kiva Grant, and Jessie May Lochran. Well done. Our role model students in current second year. So well done to all of you.
And next up, we'll have our current third years. So these are the pupils who won the best young citizen in third year. And we'll invite their year head, Miss McCartney, to the stage. So the winners were Harry Feely, uh, Martina Adamenka, uh, Daha McCann, Sarah Behan, Ruby McArdle, Alana White, Maeve Hughes, and Michael Gregory. So a big well done to all of our third year pupils who have been winning the, the Best Young Citizen Award. Congratulations. Okay, next up we have our current TY and current fifth year students. This is going to be presented by Miss Brennan. Uh, so the winners for this year group were Molly Thornton, Molly Rose Long, Eva Jean Davies, Eva Hanratty, Ella White, Dermot Waters, Christopher Crowe, and Tiernan McKeown. Well done. These were last year's third year group. Well done. Congratulations, girls. Okay, so next up, we will invite Mr. Malone onto the stage. Uh, so Mr. Malone um, is going to present his year group with Best Young Citizen for last academic year. So that will be JP McKeown, Ashley White, Ronnie Rice, Elliot Nichols, Owen McCoy, Tiernan Hanafy, Sarah Duffy. Congratulations. These were pupils in last year's TY group. Well done. So well done to our best young citizens in Mr. Malone's year group. Okay, next up, uh, we'll invite Miss McDonald onto the stage. So this is last year's fifth year group, current sixth years, who have received the best young citizen uh, for her year group. So Ross Hines, TJ McCabe, Dara Flynn, Jessica Cleary, Erin Arthurs, Stacey Murray, Emily Lennon, Kayla Hughes, and Joshua McGurk. So these are our current sixth years, best young citizens, congratulations, role model students. Lots of prefects among this crowd. <laughs> okay, and our best young citizens chosen by Mr. Corcoran. Um, this is for last year's sixth year group. So we'll welcome Mr. Corcoran up onto the stage. How many of these are here? So we have our best young citizens were Kian McGuinness, Lisa Conlon, Ben Maroney, Chloe McCarraher, and Colin Sharkey. So yeah. So a lot of our pupils obviously this time of year aren't able to come back, but a big congratulations to anyone here to pick up the award. Thank you for our last year's sixth year group. Well done. <laughs> so the TY and LCA program winners for 2023-24, for we're gonna invite Miss Gartland up onto the ward, onto the stage, sorry. <laughs> So the TY Student of the Year
goes to a fantastic student, someone who thoroughly deserves this award, and that's Sophie Rose Caldwell. Well done to Sophie. And also a big congratulations to the LCA Student of the Year, who unfortunately cannot be here, but that's Holly Caldwell. So a big round of applause for Holly in her absence. You can take that. Thanks, Miss. And we now have the Leaving Cert Student of the Year. Um, and we've prepared a little bit uh, about this, this pupil. Sorry, LCA Student of the Year, we've missed that out, the slides went missing, possibly something I've done this morning. Um, so LCA Student of the Year is Colin Sharkey, very well deserved, we we'll give a big round of applause for Colin. So the, the Leave and Search Student of the Year um, is Rory Watson, and we're going to invite Mr Corcoran onto the stage. So, this award is presented to a student who represents uh, the highest standards and values that we seek to promote in Bush Post Primary. The student that embodies those ideals uh, that we have emphasised here this afternoon and yet continue to encourage at the highest levels of their academic studies. When our teachers are asked to reflect on this student, words like phenomenal, pleasant, hard-working, committed, driven, all-round popular student, role model and standard setter was given to Rory. This student exhibits uh, that combination of academic skills and personal qualities uh, that will see them become valuable members of any field of employment or further study that anyone is fortunate to have them with. We are proud to have them here as an ambassador of uh, Bush Post Primary and again congratulations to Rory for leaving Cert Pupil of the Year. We'd now like to invite Ms Harkin up onto the stage, our new Homeschool Community Liaison Officer. And this is an award that, that many of you as pupils will hear us teachers going on about all the time and talking about attendance and how important it is. But it is an absolute fact that if you're in school, there's a big correlation between attendance and good achievement. Uh, those two go hand in hand. So we are very proud to celebrate the absolute excellence that it takes to receive a 100% attendance certificate or near to that 100%. That shows commitment, hard work, uh, and a real attitude of wanting to succeed. So our star participants, uh, and this is for 2023-24, is Kirsty Harper Barrett, Kate Connor, Jaden Harper, Aoife Waters, Carla Harper, Patrick Oliver, Marcella Smith, Evie McInerney, Ryan Ferguson, Veronica Zigley, Emily Lennon, Alicia McGarrity, and Kyle McKevitt. Big congratulations to those pupils. And probably not a coincidence that many of those students who have got 100% percent attendance have also got awards in other subjects. That is the magical combination, hard work, being here, and a good attitude. So a big congratulations to those star participants again. And next up, we have our Fuaris Award, which is very much centered around kindness, a pupil who shows uh, an ability to be kind, empathetic, a leader, and a good pupil. So we're gonna invite Mr. Joyce onto the, uh, onto the stage to present this award. And the winner for this year, a prestigious award, is Cian McGuinness. Congratulations, Cian. Cian can't be here. We have 
Mum here to collect the award for him. Thank you. So next up, we are incredibly proud uh, to welcome an Olympic athlete to the school, um, our very own um, Kate O'Connor. So a little bit of a background about Kate. We've also got a little presentation before we welcome her up onto the stage. Uh, Kate is from Black Rock and is Ireland's first heptathlete to compete at the Olympic Games. Uh, only our second ever female multi-eventer. Multi she trained over the last number of years with her dad, Michael, here at Glenmore at the facilities at Bush. Her big breakthrough was the European Junior Under-20 silver medal in 2019, when she was still only 18 and became the first and only Irish woman to exceed 6,000 points. Her personal best is 6,297 points. She followed that with a silver in the 2022 Commonwealth Games, uh, was 13th in a World Championship debut in 2023, and this year clocked up her second highest points total, 6,244, despite an injury. She has a degree uh, from Sheffield Hallam University and is also doing a Master's in Communication and PR um, at the Ulster University. Kate's competed in the heptathlon in this year's Paris Olympic Games. The heptathlon is a little like the leaving certificate with multiple subjects. Therefore, you have to be good at multiple events uh, consisting of the 100 meter hurdles, the high jump, shot put, 200 meter race, long jump, javelin throw, and the 800 meter race. Last Friday, she was invited to the Aris along with the rest of the team, uh, the Irish team, to meet President Michael D. Higgins followed by a reception at Dublin Castle to be congratulated by ministers. However, we believe her highlight over the last few days is obviously speaking here at the bush with all of us. Before Kate comes to the stage, we're gonna have a look at a few highlights of her career um, and some of the things that she's accomplished. So ladies and gentlemen, staff and students, uh, we'd like to give a warm welcome to Kate O'Connor.
welcome to Kate O'Connor to the bush. Hello everybody. Um, thank you very much for having me and congratulations to um, all the award winners. Um, so yeah, my name's Kate O'Connor. I'm just back from Paris competing at the Olympics, which is probably one of the best experiences I've ever had in my whole entire life. Um, but a little bit of background on me. Um, so I grew up in the town in, um, and I went to CBS primary school and St Vincent's secondary school. Um, started into athletics when I was about eight years old. Um, I didn't just do that sport. I did literally everything that was on offer to me, whether that was Irish dancing, tennis, swimming, literally everything. I just loved sport completely. Um, but yeah, in athletics, everyone used to always laugh at me because I did um, the weirdest mix of events. Um, I did the long jump, um, 800 meters and the javelin. And every competition that I would go to, they would always kind of clash with each other because it was very rare that there'd be an 800 meter runner also throwing the javelin at the same sort of time. So I don't know whether it was destiny that I was going to be a heptathlete or whether I just kind of fell into it randomly. But um, yeah, it wasn't until first year um, that I did my very first multi-event. Um, which I actually did honestly fall into just by complete random. Um, it was a schools event and one of the PE teachers let me know that there was something like that on. Um, and I decided, sure, why not? I'll give it a go. Um, so started off, it was at the Leinsters, I think, in Athlone. Um, managed to get out of that and then went to the national champs, um, which I also managed to come the top three. And from there, I got to go and represent the country um, against England, Scotland and Wales. Um, so I was only 13 years old and it was my first time ever putting on an Irish vest um, and it was that kind of moment where I realised this is what I love doing. Um, so decided that athletics was going to kind of be my sport, what I was going to try to pursue and really every year since that I was lucky enough to compete for my country and represent them every single summer. Um, and with that I got to travel the world, oh my goodness, I've gone to places that I would have never thought I would have gone to. Um, an example of one is a place called Tbilisi in Georgia. Um, some of you might know it, some of you might not have heard of it before. I hadn't heard of it before, um, but it's a place where the roads or lanes don't exist on roads. Um, and yeah, it was, that was an incredible experience to, to see something like that, that you know, you kind of learn in like geography class. Um, and you have to imagine these kind of places, but I actually got to go and see a place like this. Um, was incredible. Um, but I've also gone to see places such as Australia, um, and it's definitely a place that I want to go back to in the future. Um, but yeah, sport has um, really allowed me to kind of travel the world and get to go to places that I probably wouldn't have got to without it. Um, but not only that, I've got to meet so many people. Um, you know, people, I've got friends from all over the world. I've got friends that I made from when I was eight years old and I'm still making friends now. Um, so yeah, sport comes along with so many different kind of opportunities. Um, but not only that, there's um, also things like academic opportunities, which I don't think that people actually realize that can come with sport. Um, so I was lucky enough, whenever I was in sixth year, I was actually flown over to America. Um, because I was offered a few different scholarships over there. Um, I went to Austin, Texas and had a wee look around and the facilities were absolutely incredible. Um, but I was also kind of offered different places in the UK and just for me it made more sense to go to Sheffield. It was closer to home and the coaching and the setup there was amazing. So unfortunately because of COVID I had to come home early but um, yeah, that was the decision I, I made and I wouldn't have probably had those opportunities without sport. Um, but yeah, sport has also kind of instilled like lots of different characteristics for me, um, such as being organized, self-discipline, time management, uh, but also taught me so many different life lessons. The heptathlon is, um, I probably actually should have told you what's actually in the heptathlon. Um, so it's an event over two days. Um, so on day one we have the hurdles, the high jump, the shot put, the 200, and then we come back the next day and do long jump, javelin, and the 800 meters. Um, so I suppose seven chances to go out in front of a huge crowd at the Olympics there was 70,000 people so that was a lot um, but there's a lot of ups and downs with it um, and when I started into sport or into multi events I really struggled with um, everything not going well or everything not going to plan um, but as the years have gone on, gone on I'm still not perfect at it but I'm a lot better at 
dealing with the ups, but also dealing with the downs. Um, and you really do have to become resilient and realize that um, nothing's ever over until it's over. Um, and yeah, you have to keep coming back fighting. Um, but yeah, to all you students looking up at me, um, I would just really like to encourage you all that um, if you're part of a sports team or a sports group, um, keep turning up and keep working hard because um, you never know, you could be the next Olympian or you could be the next person representing your county. And any of you guys that aren't part of a sports team or a sports group, um, I really would encourage you to go and join one because you never know what sort of opportunities will come around, the type of people that you might meet. Um, and yeah, I would just love to see more people involved in sport, so I would really like to encourage you all to get down there and give it a go. But yeah, thank you very much for having me and congrats again to everybody. So as we've said, very lucky to have Kate here with us today and on behalf of the school we thank her for being here and talking a little bit about what it takes to be that successful. Sheer determination, hard work and above all getting involved in a team, it's that simple. So another big congratulations and thank you to Kate O'Connor. Okay, that draws our award ceremony to a close. Again, a big thank you to all of our uh, award winners. Um, um, and thank you to everyone who has been so patient and you've listened in. And like we said at the beginning of the awards, we want to see more of the people um, who maybe haven't won an award so far to be up here next year. It's open to so many, but well done to our award winners. And our last congratulations and well done has to go to you. So well done to our award winners today. Okay, so finally, uh, before we finish up the proceedings here this morning, uh, I would like to thank a number of people. The planning and preparation of such a challenging operation, such as this ceremony, can't be achieved without the commitment and support of our hard-working t-shirts, our teachers, teachers, support staff and students in ensuring that this important school event continues to thrive on behalf of all of our students. Fellow teachers and parents, um, would, uh, I would like to thank Miss Fee in particular, who really does do a phenomenal job over the few days of getting this prepared and works tirelessly uh, putting all the information together, keeping us all right uh, behind the scenes for a smooth uh, morning celebration. So a big thank you to Miss, Miss Fee. I'd also like to thank Miss Gartland and Miss Byrne, who have been the sidekicks to Miss Fee this morning. Uh, they've really helped uh, with lots of logistics. It doesn't just happen. Uh, lots of pupils need uh, to know where they are. So a big thank you also to Miss Gartland and Miss Byrne. As always, behind the scenes are our two phenomenal caretakers, to Jerry and Eamon for preparing the place for, for today. Big thank you to you. A thank you to our head boy and head girl. It takes determination and guts to get up here and speak. Um, it's not easy for our pupils to do that. So well done and a big thank you to you for your presentation today. Our guest speaker, I know we've mentioned before, but to Kate, uh, who's come here today, a real celebration for the school to have an Olympic athlete with us today. Thank you for giving up your time. Our videographer, Joe Finnegan, and our photographer, Ken, uh, we'd like to say a big thank you to you for allowing this to be streamed live to parents who can't be here or whoever's at home or wherever they may be, they can tune in and watch the awards and celebrate with us as a community. So a big thank you to you. And as I've said, uh, our final and most important congratulations goes to our award winners. Keep it up.
keep working hard, keep that determination going, and keep that success uh, right through your career in school. A big well done to all of you. And that concludes for today. So a big thank you again to everybody. Congratulations to our award winners. Uh, and we hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you. Okay, so just logistics, boys and girls especially, need you to, to listen up. So if you can go back and you'll be told when to leave, so remain in your seats until you're told when to leave, everyone will be going back to their 11-11 class. So wherever you should have been in, th in third lesson, you'll go back there, pick up your bags, and smoothly, calmly uh, make your way to, I think we're in fourth lesson now. Uh, so we're gonna, you're going to be told when to leave. Uh, like I said, stay in your seats until a teacher tells you to get up and leave. Thank you.